26. Your house fire prevention plan likely includes fire extinguishers and smoke detectors. But what are you doing to minimize your water damage? A burst pipe or failed appliance are five times more likely to happen than a fire. Here's Good Morning Indiana anchor Beth Vaughn. Water damage is the second most common reason for homeowners to file an insurance claim. Every year, those claims cost insurance companies $3.5 billion. Broken pipes and overflowing tubs and toilets are the main culprits. You want to take action right away. So as soon as you realize it, start removing any items that can be removed and get fans blowing in the area so you can start to dry it out. Optimally, we will dry out a structure in three days. So we come out extract the water, place drying equipment, and then we check back the following days to make sure it's drying properly. Three days is a best case scenario. If cabinets or drywall gets wet, more gear and labor is required to prevent the possibility of mold. Drill holes in the wall and then force air into the area behind the wall. Mold likes to grow in dark, um, no air movement, warm places. If damage is significant, Angie's List strongly recommends hiring a certified restoration professional to get you dried out. But hire carefully and check credentials. A pro should be available whenever emergency strikes. We take a lot of pictures. Um, we talk through things with the homeowner as we're pulling stuff out of a basement, putting it upstairs or in the garage. We go through and catalog things with the homeowner. Here's a tip. If you're storing items in a basement, use plastic tubs instead of cardboard boxes or paper bags and opt for area rugs instead of wall-to-wall -wall carpet just in case of a flood. Beth Vaughn, RTV6. Now